Hey guys, and welcome to Outlast, the Whistleblower. This is the uh, prelude, I guess, to the actual main campaign, uh, the DLC that came out for it. Now, I never played this, um, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. Full disclaimer, uh, I played like the first 20 minutes of this earlier, uh, only to find out that uh, OBS had actually crashed. Um, in the background, which was kind of annoying. Um, so the first episode probably isn't going to be blind. Well, <laughs> probably won't be blind. Um, but everything after that will be. Um, one thing I will say from what I've seen so far, I like what I see. I like what I see. This is um, kind of more enjoyable than the main game. And uh, I enjoyed the main game quite a bit. So... Without any further waffling, let's jump in. We're going to go normal. Um, because the only real difference from uh, uh, from what I can ascertain is how quickly the batteries drain uh, and how much damage you can take. I find on normal you can't really take too much damage anyway. And the batteries uh, drain stupidly fast anyway. So, you know what? I'm happy with normal. Yes, sir. I'm happy with normal. Quiet phone. Hello. Well... I think we're in for some chop. Don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. I'd rather not if it's all the same. Somebody hit you. Here. Let me help. <laughs> um, sir, what are you doing to my face? Please don't lick me. Sounds like real trouble. Bad engine. They said hope made a lateral assumption. You're not happy about it? <sighs> shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Uh oh. What's Billy up to? Hmm. Well, that's not the best film I've ever seen, but uh we take it two hours earlier. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring me. I did two weeks of... Oh yeah, that's the message, of course, that uh, he sent to Miles and a few other people. Oh, and he's drinking coffee. That's a good idea. Mm-mm. Murkoff is making money. Okay, well, that's what they do. They're a corporation. Let's hit the old sun button. Uh oh. I'm working here. Um, okay, so here we go. Saving. Uh, you alright, buddy? I was just uh, doing software stuff. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. They have? Uh, okay. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software guy. I am. I was doing software stuff. With, with software. Alright. I'm on the way. Hi, guys. Uh, yes. I think I left my pager somewhere. Possibly. I'm not sure. Hi, guys. How's it hanging? That sounds alright. I didn't think I'd miss her this much. Start to realize they haven't seen a woman or a child in shit years now, right? How long's it been since you've seen Jane? Three weeks now? That's nothing. You're serious? Sure. You got a girlfriend or somebody? I'm married. How long since you've seen her? Honestly, I'm not even sure. <laughs> Damn. Well, sucks to be you guys, I suppose. I'm going to Leadville to pick up Jane, then we're headed out to the lake. That sounds all right. I didn't think I'd miss her this much. Hmm, well, you're just looping. Yeah, there, buddy, this reminds me of Half-Life. 
Alright, 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 I'm on the way, I'm on the way. Uh, you can't rust genius, sir. Alright, boss. You're I'm on it, I'm on it. Top men us. are on it. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. Christ. 15 seconds, huh? Alright, well, I suppose you better do some work. Alright, buddy. Blind inside his head, huh? That's right, boss. Yes. Thy will be done. Possibly. Hellman monitors. Hmm. Do they make mayonnaise? Precisely. I'm dedicated. Oh, hell. Rape? What? The hell is going on here? Whoa. Um, this is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Yeah. You're a piece of shit. It will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Well, mate, you can just do this yourself. Whoa. Well, that is rather horrific. You're finished, Mr. Whalen Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty when you your performance. Oh, good. Uh, I did good, right? Because you did fucking nothing, prick. What the hell? You're done here, Mr. Park. Thank you and goodbye. Right. Uh, hey, pal. I hope you. Yeah, I'm going. I hope you all die horribly. In fact, I would really enjoy to see that. Enjoy seeing that. Hello. You right there? Well, you got big kissy lips, haven't you? Jesus. All right, well, let's not think about that too closely. Uh, we've already had our face licked, which is rather concerning, to say the least. All right there, buddy. You also have, wow, well, you, you have a twin back there. Clones, perhaps. What about you? Are you the same model as well? I think you are. Fuck you now, this place is getting weirder and weirder. Right, well, I suppose we better go get our laptop. The most secure connection on the planet. It's quiet. Too quiet. Somebody's been telling stories outside of class. Kind of. Oh, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Hey, it's Mr. Kissy Lips. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Mm -hmm. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. That is quite stupid. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid. Fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. <laughs> Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. <laughs> right. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Whalen Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine program? Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. <laughs> brave indeed, Whalen. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Um, okay. Holy crap! What are you beating me with? Hell. Well. That was 
kind of incredibly dumb on our part to send a message like that. Um, yeah. Ooh, hello. Back to the matinee. Hmm. I guess they're letting us go. That is weird the way it stays with you. Oof. It's in our heads. Hi, right, buddy. I'm calming down. I'm falling down. Oh, it's Billy. Hey, Bill. Billy. You're killing the wrong people, Billy. You should be killing the security and that Blair guy. Kill him slowly. Well, I guess we're going to collect our camera. There we go. It's been a while. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody just became red paste. Let's have a look at our note. If I die. Huh. If I die. I fucked up. Oh, God. Where am I? Hours could have passed, or weeks. Uh, brain filled with static. They made me watch the the engine. I have to get help. I have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you will find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't. Expose the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Yeah, you did, buddy boy. Yeah, you did. Um, can we get out here, please? Service. Um, service. Oh, hello. Flower. Pretty flower. Fucking. I'll open you up. Open you up and show you. Oh, thank you. <coughs> Thanks, boss. Oh, mate, can you put some? Put some damn pants on, for God's sakes. What is it with you lot? None of you like to wear pants. Seriously. Well, thank you very much. I'll, uh... I'll just be going now. Jeez, I don't look like that, do I? Lisa... Oh, my God. Lisa will never have me back if I look like that. Oh, well. Ooh. Do what, do what, do what, do what. Ooh. Yes, kill the doctor. Kill him. Oh yes, make him suffer. Fuck you, Doctor. Fuck you. I only wish that... Are you gonna kill him or are you just... gonna... stand there? Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Whoa, your brain is showing, I believe. Wow. Alright. Well, I will be right with you, chaps. Um, my only regret... Oh, nice. Now, this is interesting. This confirms that batteries are RNG, because I didn't have a battery there last time. Well, my only regret is I wish I could have killed the Doctor. I would have enjoyed it more than him. I would have made it last a lot longer than he did. I would have peeled his skin off and ate his face. Oh, I'm not crazy. I may be crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's weird. Did we get another note? No. Well, well, well. Let's keep moving. Got to keep this party wagon trucking. Oh, hello. Damn it. The security guy won. I hate it when the security guys win. We should be peeling faces and eating flesh. Alright okay, guys. Our yes. Come to join our therapy session. I have. Here. Take the plate. Keep around with our friend here. With pleasure. With pleasure. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. No. You're gonna lose. Too good for the likes of us. Uh. Is your different? Something special? There are no observers here. Alright, buddy. Well. Get the fuck out of here before I change.
changed my mind. Well, you're not as crazy as the others. So I appreciate that. However, um, I would have actually have loved to have uh, stabbed that guy a few times. But the game won't let me. I guess we're some kind of puss. Alright, chap. Ooh, ooh, sir. Please stop hitting me. We're on the same side. At least, I thought we were. Oh, you can chase me if you like. I don't mind. Dick. I guess he just wanted his exercise for the day. Well, he got it. Oh well, onwards and upwards, I suppose. Oh, hello. Oh, looks like we've got a badass over here. Well, let's get out of here. Oh, dear. What's it like, eh? <sighs> well, I wouldn't like to work for these gentlemen. They all seem a little bit crazy. Let's go. So, oh, we got a note, didn't we? Uh, use a shortwave radio from the prison. Sounds like a plan. A radio in the prison. There's a radio in the prison. Shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. Now, 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 sir. Please don't count your chickens before they've hatched. My mistake was a subtlety. Like you always said, I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous. I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa. For the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anybody and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. Uh. I see. Well, how the hell do you even get a job in a place like this? Well, Lisa, let's hope the corporation didn't get to you. Because that would be rather awkward. You alright there, buddy? You alright, pal? You are good? You having a good time? Glad to hear it. Oh, well, I remember this. Oh, hello, buddy. You alright? You gonna come with us? Do some murdering? There's plenty of people to murder, just, you know, don't murder me. I, have, I can run pretty... Oh, we don't even have shoes. I was gonna say, I got some... I got my running shoes on, but I guess... I guess not. Oh well. Oh, shoes are overrated. Well, this looks fun. We ain't going that way. So. Oh, I guess we're not going that way either. So we're going to go this way. Oh. Ah, and a battery. This battery wasn't here before either. You right there? You're a bit of falling apart, sir. You've leaked. And I'm going to walk all over your face because it pleases me greatly. And I'm going to dance and jump on your corpse. Ah, if only I could eat your face. Oh, hello. You've fallen over as well. These bodies are incredibly squishy. This pleases me. Okay, well... Oh, hello. Help me, please. I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my... You're not security. I was... I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body, I found. Did you now? you got to get me out of here. Please. Just push the button, open the door, we can get out of here together. I've got a better idea, Doc. Fuck you. 
I want to watch you die. Yes! Good work, buddy. And again. And again. There we go. Keep it going. Nice. Good man. Another sack of shit destroyed. The doctors are sick. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today. Murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes. Oh, bloody hell. I am tired. Into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. No, 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 no. He didn't tear him to pieces. He smashed his face against the glass till the man fell down. Claimed he was a doctor. Then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy. All sick. Well, no, no, no. I, I would say he probably was a doctor. Um, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me. Thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. Hmm. Well... I think that's a fairly logical thing to think. It's not me. I'm also glad the doctor died because the doctors here seem to be dicks and uh, deserve nothing. M less than the most excruciatingly painful death. In fact, I would go as far as saying these doctors are getting, it, getting off lightly. I don't want to be murdered. Well, I'm going to be real. Most of us uh, don't want to be murdered, but Generally, that's not a decision we we get to make for ourselves, you know. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck me. You alright, Billy? Now, Billy, let's talk about this. Fuck you, Billy. Hey, Doc. How do you feel now, buddy? The trouble with these doctors is once they're dead, they're kind of free. Ooh. Another one's coming. Another what? Who's coming? Jesus? Or Jesus? Who knows? Hey, did you get out of here? You sneaky bastard. Ah, fuck you, buddy. Well, oh, what have we got here? Journal. From J. Blair. Blair, you are a piece of work. To H. Grant. Resignation... Uh, for mental health, CC. Ah, contract, yes. 8208, that's us. Mrs. Grant, you may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park. Hello. Of Leadville. Uh, in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Wayland. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Wayland Park, former consulting contract, 8208, resigned due to a previously uh, undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them, with a silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Aww. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her powers of eternity, attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it was discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant healthcare debts. Hopefully she understood. But if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Mm -hmm. Um, I hope our wife didn't end up here somewhere. That would be really horrible. Um, now there was a battery around here. There is another one here. Nice. Yeah, that would be really horrible if uh, our wife was here. Um, not good. Let's get out of here. Onwards and upwards. I guess. Luckily, when you kind of know where you're going, you don't really use batteries that much, which is nice. So we're going to enjoy that for a little while. 
Ooh, saving. Well, I can go that way. Oh. Alright, I guess we can't go this way. I never walked down this corridor last time. I just assumed that we could keep going. Well, let's keep going this way. Any goodies here? Waylon, you have to calm down, buddy. Alright. We, we've we been given a second chance here, my friend. And hopefully we can put this second chance to good use. Ooh. Well, something bad happened here. I think something bad happened everywhere, let's be honest. Now, we haven't seen this side of the place before. The, this is all new. Ooh. Hello there, pal. Ooh. Looks like he's eating steak. Um, human steak, I would wager. This chap has been busy. This outbreak has only happened, like, seconds ago. But look how busy this guy has been. I guess he's been sparing no time. Ooh, what's cooking? Mmm. Human. Human stew. I wonder if he minds if we, we serve ourselves up a bowl. Uh, you know what? I'm not hungry. I wouldn't mind to trouble him for a cup of coffee, though. Yeah, there, buddy. You're making quite a mess. I don't think this place is going to have a five-star hygiene rating. I mean, I might be wrong. Holy crap. You've been busy. Look at all these people you've killed. You all right there, buddy? Ooh, hell. That is quite some tool you have there. I love him. You love him? Um, okay. Ooh. Is that as tasty as it looks? Uh, I guess, I guess it is. Right, you, you are a special kind of crazy. Where's that gentleman's head? You microwaved his head. That's metal. Fuck. Good man. Um, so, are you going to be a bit of a problem? Or are you going to just let me walk on by? I think he's going to let us walk on by. I tell you what, mate. You enjoy your meal. And uh, I will keep your love necrophilia quiet. Because I'm nice like that. I'm just going to walk on. Right. Okay. So, this is as far through the game as I have been. I have not seen any more. Alright, Waylon. Let's keep trucking. I actually thought that guy was going to be a bit more of a, a knobhead to us. Oh, I wonder if we're going to see the Bulls Brothers. That would be interesting. Ooh. Sounds like someone else is in here with us. Now, any batteries? No. No batteries! I want batteries. I like batteries. Big ones. With lots of charge. Oh, hell. I think we're coming down with a touch of the crazies. Well, considering we've just hit a, a checkpoint there, guys. Oh, I'm going to leave it here. When we come back, we're going to continue exploring and hopefully find some batteries. And, uh, hmm, I wonder if we're going to run into the chef again. Yeah, he was an interesting fellow, wasn't he? Huh. Well, as long as he doesn't try and eat our face, I, th I think me and him will get along just fine. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, till next time.